What's going on, everyone, and welcome to Movie Emporium's movie review of The Owners, the newest film from director Julius Berg. Uh, before we begin, if you like my channel, of course, hit that subscribe button for Movie Emporium, hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. Hey, if you like this video, cool, hit that like button, as well as commenting below on any video to watch, including this one. So I love revenge thrillers. I love those tables of turn type films where you go in and you expect the movie to kind of twist and turn uh, its own motives on its head. Uh, we basically have three characters named Gaz, Nathan, and Terry who are going to rob this house and make all this money because they're you know, this old couple is very rich. Uh, and so they go there and they don't really find much and they find a save. Well, as we know in these types of movies, they're going to wait for the old couple who are played by Sylvester McCoy and Rita Tushingham to uh, get the combination for the safe and rob them. But because of the type of movie it is, the tables get turned and these robbers or these dogs uh, basically go on the on the run from these from this old couple. And uh, those are the types of movies I like because I really enjoy the idea of a situation like that where the old couple is not as innocent as they look. And then you throw in Maisie Williams into the movie where she plays Mary and she's actually the, the girlfriend of one of the main characters who's also having a kid. You throw in the dynamic of an actress who's actually a really good actress with some really interesting old people especially like Sylvester McCoy who played Doctor Who and you have all the makings and all the ideas for a possibly a good tables of turn revenge suspense thriller and so I was kind of interested by this of course I, you know I've never heard of this movie before you know based apparently it's based off a graphic novel I learned about this from the trailer that I saw the night before I watched this movie and uh yeah I still I still get excited by these types of movies because one, these are the types of movies you never hear about if especially when there's no you know pandemic going on so watching a movie like this it's my cup of tea and for the most part the movie's entertaining it really is I really got a kick out of watching this old couple kind of manipulate the the you know the thugs and the the bad guys and Maisie Williams character there's a Terry who's the overweight kind of oafish character he's the most manipulated character in the movie and I like to see I liked how his kind of uh, his character arc played out throughout the entire movie. But Maisie Williams, of course, becomes the main character because she's the big actress in this movie. And she becomes a heroine. She's, like I said, having a baby. So she becomes the most protected and most protective and stuff like that. And to see her go up against, you know, Sylvester McCoy and Rita Tushingham's character is a lot of fun because Rita Tushingham is one of those characters that's very simple. She has kind of uh, lost everything, her ability to kind of logically think because she's old and she's starting to, you know, lose everything in her sanity and stuff like that. And to see Sylvester McCoy's character, character kind of like the the quiet subdued but menacing human being to play off somebody like Maisie Williams is really kind of fun and fascinating uh but the problem with this movie and I'm going into the problems like I usually do is like a lot of these types of movies you got to weight your material in a very good balanced motive because if you don't you're going to start getting that seesaw effect where too much of one side is going to like dampen and kind of weight down the good stuff. And that's kind of like what happens in this movie. Now the lead up stuff, the build up stuff is a lot of fun to watch, but there's so much build up, at least an hour into a 90 minute movie that it kind of like bogs down and weighs down the really interesting kind of the breakthrough of this movie where you start to get the real plot of what is going on and that becomes a problem in my book you know I love the setup to this movie but it should have only been 20 minutes there should have not been this all this build up and this lead up and this you know this thing and so on and so forth that when you get to the cool and interesting stuff, it just becomes so kind of condensed and so quickly paced that you become bored by it. It really is. It's really sad. And there's some parts in this movie which are really menacing and kind of disturbing and tense. But then there's some stuff that's really laughable because you haven't given yourself enough plot, enough like uh, story to kind of flesh it out. You know, I like to see these, this old couple and see what they do, but when you get to their main motives, which I won't spoil, it, it's not fleshed out enough. It really isn't. You're getting some cool stuff at the beginning, but then that stuff just keeps like going forward and forward and forward to the point where you're just like, okay, I guess I only have uh, 20 minutes left in this movie. I, uh, I think I have to wrap this up somehow. And 20 minutes, you know, 20 months later, I'm like, man, if that had only been like 45 minutes more, you know, it would have been a much more interesting movie. But like I said, it's still just that weighted seesaw situation, when, especially when it comes to suspense thrillers, that you just kind of, if you bog yourself down, it's just not going to work. So 
I think overall I did like this movie. I really enjoyed it. I still recommend it, but I still think it needed more at the end. I think Julius Berg really did a nice job with the characters and stuff like that. But I just don't think overall that it weights itself really that great. So, And then when we get to the end of this movie, when the eventual conclusion happens and the twists and turns kind of reveal themselves... I don't think it's entirely earned. I don't think it's entirely respected in the, what it's trying to do because it's something that you just kind of go, really? That's where, we, where we're going? We're going with that? You couldn't kind of lead us up to that? You didn't give us any kind of breadcrumbs that would lead us up to that moment? And maybe they're kind of thrown out, but they're not as well developed, I guess you could say, as you want. So... Overall, the movie is entertaining, still fun, but it just has its issues with its weightiness. So, uh, but that's it. That'll be my take on the owners. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you decide to rent this movie because it's six ninety nine on you know VOD like iTunes and Vudu, uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of the movie. Uh, if you know if there's a spoiler review that you want out of this movie, let me know and I will do a spoiler review. But otherwise, that will do it. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my channel for movie and forum. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. Hey, if you like this video, cool, hit that like button. If you dislike it, it is what it is. But otherwise, I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.